Hi, welcome to Pictures, Nights and Words. I'm Hedgie. I'm Paris. And this is Isagrim, if that's how you say it. Um, this is a song called Celebratory Gunfire, and it's been asked for non-stop for, <laughs> for forever uh, by Mark Blau. And I tried ignoring him, and it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> and I told him we'd already done an Isagrim song, which we did a while back, and that didn't work either. So I give in. Um, no, I mean, we heard that other song, the name of which completely escapes me as usual, and it was a really good surprise, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, I bought one of their albums off the strength of that. Um, he's, he's described it as some melodic thrash death metal with some thrilling solos. Excuse me, teeth. <laughs> right. Don't worry, when I edit this... <laughs> When I edit this, I'll turn the sound uh, down just at that point. Uh, and we... Oh, uh, uh, space God. weevils. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, hands are stuck to my knees. Anyway, so. moving on. I'm not editing any of that out. Uh, it's a grim <laughs> celebratory gunfire, which is off this album, um, Congress of the Insane, which has a terrifying cover. Yeah. It's the sort of cover that would keep you to just prop it up at the end of your bed or <laughs> <laughs> wake up and scare yourself to death. Um, so we chose um, a live version because it's more interesting. Um, and uh, this will blow your ears off. So basically, play it nice and loud. I, I haven't heard this particular song, to be honest. Um, but, uh, you know, we know what kind of thing you're going to get from this band. Because yeah, I, I got the album The Ferryman, I think, which is after this one. After this I one, think. how long ago was um, this then? Oh, I don't this know, performance in 2015, the album I got The Ferryman was 2016, I think. Right. I'm, sure, I'm sure Mark will. Uh, so we've gone back in time uh, a little well, bit. Correct us yeah. if, if it is wrong. Yeah, we, we could do the research, but we can't be bothered. So if you could fill in any of the gaps or all of the gap, that'll do. Let's just go. Okay, the next song, <laughs> Celebratory Gunfire.
That's good. I love that. Coming to a park near you. <laughs> and children's parties. <laughs> so I've got some questions. One, why why were there so few people there? But but two, how was the sound so good for such a small thing? Um, <laughs> how? Because you see it'd be like big bands playing live and the sound's terrible. Yeah. When they've recorded it, it sounds yeah. terrible. But whoever's on the mixing desk recording that, unless I'm yeah. missing something, but I was trying to think, has it been overdubbed or whatever? And I really didn't yeah, think it had probably been. straight from the mix, mixing desk that it yeah. sounded like. Because the few, there's a few mistakes in there, but that's what makes live live. Absolutely. Live. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the energy the energy is there. It's got such an awesome voice. It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is incredible. It's, it's such a talent, and, and well, all of them really. To, yeah, to yeah. Play I mean, I, I, it's one thing I would try not to do is it's concentrate on one person, but but she's got an awesome voice. Um, yeah, is a grim. I hope. I mean, when was this? This was a few years ago. So I'm really hoping that they're playing to. They should be playing to <laughs> much bigger um, audiences. So yeah, I've got the album. I think is that that was 2015. That, so I might have to go so. and purchase that one. So that was great. Yeah. Is a grim really. because it, 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 it's that from the Netherlands, I think, aren't they? That tricky thing to do with uh, sort of death metal is because um, you know, Mark says it's melodic. I, it's is that melodic or is it just got great ideas that it appeals to you? It's just two different things. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I would say Megadeth isn't really melodic or early Metallica. It's just got some great ideas that stick with more people um but i wouldn't say they were ultra melodic M melodic is something they did much later uh yeah i don't know how's that i'm not gonna be, <laughs> not gonna be able to help you out here at all i don't know it just, like... just just came to mind that i wouldn't i wouldn't say that was melodic i would say it was well crafted with some really cool riffs that appealed to more people does that, that doesn't make it more melodic though does it I think that the feeling I got from it when I was watching it was just I was just enjoying it from a like yeah. uh, this is this is just great fun, which is probably not what they were going for. <laughs> but, but, but you know, I was just like, and I, and I also just I couldn't get around. I was thinking, why does it sound so good? Why does it sound like a big mush? Um, you know, why did the bass drum sound so solid and mm. and, and, and but in their own space and the I guitars feel... had their own sound? And her voice we came mm. out like clear as a bell and all of that. And you think. That, it just shouldn't. This shouldn't be. This shouldn't be happening. <laughs> so it, uh, like for a small festival as well. Uh, it sounds really patronising, but I think yeah. yeah. Kudos. Yeah. Kudos. I wonder if they were they were like the opener or something. I don't know. But, but the uh, uh, um, one of my uh, things I wanted to do this year. I know this this year's not totally out yet. Um, was I w I would like to write. A death metal album, a bit like that. All oh, right. Um, I've got nothing yet. <laughs> it's just, an, it's just an it's idea. Don't hold your breath. I thought, uh, was was in the play with K one and it's better beneath one. I thought I'll, I'll, I'll write it. I'd like to write a death metal album. All oh, right. Uh, okay. Just fill it full of riffs, really. Just seen who was on that year. Exodus, Equilibrium were on. Oh, Bullet. There's a bit of a Bullet. Wow. Yeah, love them. <laughs> Trying to see where Isagrim are in that M middle. Th th oh th yeah, in the middle. Yeah, they had the Iron Maiden tribute band on called Power Slave as well. Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Metal Frenzy Festival. So yeah, um, I really yeah I really enjoyed that. Yeah, but I, I enjoyed it for all sorts of different reasons, <laughs> sort of thing. And I just there was bits where I was just kind of smiling because I was just like, oh, this is just this is just great. <laughs> There you go, um, Isagrim. We've done them before, um, so I'm sure people yeah. have heard them before. But if you haven't, they're a very good example of what they do, as I yeah. like to say. Let us know what you think. Cool. See you soon. See you now. Bye bye.